Hello, everybody. Uh, we're going to carry on with uh, the Russian turn two of campaign game day one for the Valor of the Guard solitaire version. Um, things are going not too bad for the Germans. Again, it's only been two turns of German activity. Um, I was able to uh, cause a lot of dummy activations, meaning that these 18 suspect counters produce nothing uh, over the course of turn two. Uh, as opposed to uh, eight activations. <clears throat> so it's always better from a friendly perspective to obviously uh, remove as many of these as possible. So that's that's kind of good. I'm keeping track of my overall activations and dummies. Just I like those kind of stats at the end of the game just to see uh, you know, how many of them actually prove vital. I'm also going to be recording how many of each unit type I've activated. Um, barring any ELRs, I should be uh, fairly accurate on that so I can determine at the end of the day exactly how many squads and guns and tanks were produced in the course of the battle. So let's jump right into the, uh, the Russian rally phase. So the first things first, we do the wind change and it's another random event. They have a five, six, or seven potential and I rolled a seven. So let's see what happens. It's two, two. Twenty-two is a randomly determined AFV is immediately immobilized. <laughs> Come on. Uh, all right, so I've got six here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen AFVs they have to roll. So let's use uh, A30 as a divider. This one right here. One to three is north. Four to four to uh, six to south, so to the north half. Uh, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of those left to go. <clears throat> so from the north to the south. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So two and seven. So you, you. And you have potential of being uh, immobilized. So top down, one, two. So you are immobilized. <laughs> and the hits just keep on coming. So I guess you're going to be a stationary fire platform for the uh, assault if these guys ever manage to make their way on board. All right, let's do uh, rallies. <clears throat> Russians get four self-rallies. Uh, so there's two here. Seven and a five. Another seven. You're definitely going to be trying. So that's one. You. Two. Uh, let's do you for three. And then we'll do this other seven up top for the last one. Yeah. All right, now we do normal rallies. So I have a gun here to repair. Yep. Could have done you. Oh well. Uh, we have two 
tens or elevens, I guess. One, two. Well, anything but a twelve. Actually, max morale is ten. So I guess you would bail with that eleven. The ceiling level for morale is ten. So would that mean with a commissar? And a building, it'll bring it up to 11, or do you cap at 10? If I cap it at 10, that means this first guy is going to be reduced to a half squad. No. Yeah, half squad, because he can't break, because he's a 6 to 8. And you rallied. Right now the 10 0 Commissar, but we only have to fix the heavy. Oh, Jesus. A 6 would be really nice here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the last thing I want is a heavy gun in action, although I do have three tanks that are going to be taking care of that building, hopefully. It would be nice if they turn it to rubble and kill everything in it. Uh, I think that's it for rallies. You're down in the gully. I think I'm going to put you in that building, even though you don't. Know, even though you're disrupted and uh, probably wouldn't be able to route normally. Now we do the Germans. We have a broken leader, so I need a five. Now we need three fours. One, two, three. We have a broken 10 too. Or 10 3, I guess. Uh, so now we need uh, two 10s. One, two. Nines. Actually, no, that would be nine. Basically, anything but a 12 would probably suffice. See, I'm not sure about this one here. Let me know in comments down below if you guys think it's that. Was a valid player or not? Whether or not I would have reduced the squad because I rolled an eleven and uh, it has a broken value of nine with a commissar in a building. Um, I'm not sure if that would uh, how that works exactly at that ceiling level of ten. <clears throat> Here we have another broken leader. So I need a nine. A lot of close calls here. <clears throat> and now we need a 10, 10, and a 10 top down. One, two, three. Planeers are back in action. Just in time to deal with this commissar. So they're gonna become concealed, which means they can assault move into here withstand any fire assuming these guys are not damaged and then they can flamethrower or I can keep them in concealed moving to C40 with attention and taking out this T70 again depending on how this battle here goes Okay, that's gone. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, I guess you can fire at this tank here, which I think is what this T-70 is going to do. Any anyway, other rallies? Uh, I have another leader here, so I need a five. Nice. Rallying on the German side. And now I need two fours. One, two. Another leader here. I need an eight. Nope. I'm going to be worried about where this 120 lands. I'm probably going to drop it on the 8-1. Hopefully it doesn't land on target and then it deviates somewhere. That's it for the rally phase.
uh, we'll now commence with the uh, Russian prep fire. Yeah. All right, first things first, we got a AT gun here. Now you've already fired, have you fired APCR? No, you have not. So I think you're gonna fire an APCR round at this uh, light flak half track. You've already acquired once, which counts as the debris. So you're gonna need a, uh, what do we need? An eight, a base eight to hit. APCR, uh, no APCR, so a normal round. And you hit, and you have rate of fire. Now, <clears throat> you're probably gonna kill this thing. Uh, 45 long, seven hexes away. It's base 10. Basically anything but an 11 or 12. Yeah, dead. No, she's not a flaming wreck, so the crew has a chance of survival. Nope. Uh, where are we going with Casualty Bin? Allied Send and Wreck. That's the Casualty Bin, by the way. So right now the uh, the Axis are obviously clearly uh, killing a lot more than they've uh, taken damage for. So that's going to come into play when it comes time to determine, to determine excuse me, the uh, Russian counterattack potential. Um, the last time I played this, there was so many dead Russians that uh, it ended up proving detrimental to the typical counterattack that would have happened. Um, we'll see if that pans out. All right, do you have another shot? I don't think you're going to be able to see that. No, it looks like you're going to, uh, well, you're going to try a shot there. And um, check LOS, yeah, through the building, I figured. All right, <clears throat> so you can hang out. Nothing to see here. You're in the middle of an FFE, and you could see this tank. That would be a plus one, plus two. No, actually you won't be able to because you have to change covered arc, which means you would have to endure a FFE attack. So uh, you're just going to stay where you are. That's fine. You're going to move, get out of that FFE. So here we have a 628. Yes, it can fire. So you're going to fire six firepower plus two into this uh, half squad. Uh, that'll be nothing. So the uh, AT gun. Yes, you can fire. Uh, one AG round plus one. So you're going to need a seven or less. Uh, rate of fire. Now you're going to need an eight or less. Critical. All right, doubled up. Six. Six minus two on the 10 table. There's a four, is a three check. Broken and ELR'd. Four two six. 
you're going to fire at you guys. So you're going to fire 8 firepower plus 2. Nice. 6 to 8, you have no target, so you're probably going to move. Yeah. Uh, you. Gonna move. You are panicked, so you're not gonna move. Okay, well, that's good to know. So much for that. Everybody else is gonna stay put in the FFE so they don't endure another attack. Next up, we have a squad here, which is, or a crew, which is going to uh, take possession of their uh, AT gun again. You are panicked. Nice, so you can't act. And here we go. Uh, squad is good, so you're going to fire a firepower plus two. Seven on the eight, uh, wrong, and nine on the eight is a PTC. So top down, leader, squad, squad. Uh, sniper check. No sniper. Now this gun are able to fire, so you're going to change cover to arc. Plus two. Plus four. Plus two for range. So you need a six, or no, you need a... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you need a six or less. Now, I wonder, because um, it says woods building and rubble. doesn't say anything about debris. Let me check debris, whether or not that applies. Okay, so according to the uh, Red Factory's uh, debris rules 1.8, uh, case A does not apply for uh, being in debris. Unless you're in a factory location. Okay, so it's not doubled. So it's just a plus two, six or less to hit. That's a hit. And I believe that's a critical. And you have rate of fire. So that's going to be a bad day for the uh, Germans. On the IFT. Oof. So we have a 2 on the 10 for one squad. Uh, who's the critical effect? Leader, medium, heavy. All right. <clears throat> So we have, um, oops, that's not what I want to do. We have a four on the five table is a two check for everybody. And a two on the 10 is a 1K. So the heavy crew is dead. Uh, you have a two check. Broken. And you are broken. Two check would be a five plus four is nine, so you're still good. Uh, I guess you would be gone as well. Uh, let me check that. An HE round killing a gun. I guess it would be under a support weapon.
All right, so I have roll one dice, a four on the 10 is a three check. So the heavy is still alive, that's good. All right, so you're gone. Everybody else is broken and you get a second shot. So now you're gonna need a nine to hit. Plus two minus three would be a nine to hit. No rate of fire, but you hit. Six on the five is a normal morale track. All right, so my leader is good and the squad is good. All right, painful, but could have been a lot worse. Oh, you require twice. Looks like that 46 is gonna occupy a uh, German heavy. Where do you got to retreat to? Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. I guess this is your target. At any rate, uh, you guys are going to move. You are going to move. And you? Um, yeah, I think you'll move. That's fine. You can always retreat back to that fortified location. Uh, get you out of the way. Yep. So you guys are all going to move forward and reinforce the, uh, the front line. <clears throat> Uh, we go to, um, you, what are you going to do? Nothing, because you're panicked. All right, you cannot fire your mortar, so what are you going to do? I think you're just going to fire the squad, that would make sense. So you're going to fire six firepower. Plus two. Uh, nine on the six will be nothing. The squad here. Panicked. Which means you're going to fire final protective fire. So six firepower. Uh, you're going to fire on this guy here because it's not a halved. Again, so six plus two. Acting as morale check as well. And they're broken. Nice. <clears throat> and the gun crew are panicked as well. So you're going to fire sustained fire. Let me confirm that. Now, here's a curious omission. Uh, so this is the mandatory panic attack, which happens when a unit fails a, uh, a panic check at the beginning of a turn. So that gun has failed. Um, now, it says here, infantry must use final protective fire whenever possible. And then it says armed vehicular unit. Nowhere in there is a mention about a gun. So do I treat that as an infantry unit, meaning that they just fire themselves, they don't fire the gun? 
I can't think that's an oversight. It has to be a uh, deliberate exclusion. So I'm going to fire the, the crew. Um, yeah, the crew is going to fire, not the gun itself. That's how I read the rules. Uh, you know, comments down below, please. If you think that's uh, an error of judgment, uh, let me know. Uh, but I think that's the case. I think I'm going to raise this question on Game Squad forum as well. Um, yeah, so let's fire four firepower plus two onto here. Uh, six on the four, I think is a morale trap. Yeah. And you're good. Curious. <clears throat> All right, we'll uh, figure that one out. All right, so the 10-0 stack, unfortunately, are not panicked, so they get a fire. Uh, what are we talking here? Um, so you can fire at this guy, which is your closest target, or you could try him. One, two, three. Hex is away, plus four, or plus three. I think you're going to fire plus three. Full firepower, so 14 firepower plus 3. 10 on the 14 is a PTC for you. You are good. You guys are going to fire. Um, 6 firepower plus 3. Nothing. A tank. You're going to try APCR at you. Which would be a plus one, a plus two. No, it can't because... Actually, no, that's right because your, your turret's changed. Yeah, this should be their target hex, and then... I think I'm doing this right, measuring from this vertex. Uh, so you're going to be a range of plus three, uh, range of three. You're going to be firing with a plus two modifier, which means you're going to need a six or less. Oh, buttoned up, plus three modifier. You're going to need a um, <clears throat> six or less. F seven or less. Seven or less to hit. APCR. No APCR. A normal shot. No hit, but you're acquired. Um, nobody's here. You guys are going to fire your four firepower. Jeez, plus four or plus four. Then you're going to fire on these guys to keep them suppressed. Uh, four plus four. Now you broke your gun. And you guys are under desperation now. And then finally the T-34. You're going to move. I'm going to move you into position to deal with this threat to the south. And I forgot to do the artillery. 
let me do the artillery right now. Actually, I'll, I'll do you first. No, I'll have to do the artillery first. Okay, so uh, you are going to be dropping one, two, three, four, which means the maximum you can deviate is two. So are you accurate on a one or less? And the most you can deviate is two. One, four, two. One, two. I think you're valid because you're in the, uh, <clears throat> no, you'd be in the D44 uh, location, wouldn't you? I think this tank should have been dug in. This gap here is too small to have. And I rolled the uh, suspect counter in D43, I believe. Or is it D44? No, he's in the D44, which means he's going to be hit, which means this is going to be canceled. Uh, once a Russian unit is underneath the impact of an artillery strike, according to the solitaire rules, it is um, automatically cancelled before result. Okay, well that's kind of good. Could have been a lot worse. Alright, so you're moving. And then you. You are moving as well, I think. No, you're going to fire. Six firepower, no modifier onto the 447. Nothing. Alright. Let's go into movement phase. Now you are going to do what? You want to take up occupation of your infantry gun again. Uh, oh wait, you're not concealed. You are going to do 2-4. <clears throat> You'll move forward one, that's fine. Yeah, way well, you can still retain concealment or gain concealment at the end of the turn. You guys are stuck in an FFE, so you're not doing anything. You guys. <clears throat> you're going to go forth and uh, try and push those Germans back. You're going to occupy your gun again. Yep. Uh, okay, yep, you can do that one as well. <clears throat> um, that's gone because they fired. You are going to, where's my next broken unit? Not broken units here. Nine zero is handling that. So you're just going to go on the attack. Uh, six move, three, six. I think that's right. You'll go there. You'll move forward three. You're going to go one, two, five. That would be CX. That's fine. <clears throat> you got time. And you are going to go into this rubble here, also CXing. Dashing across J35. <clears throat> All right, that brings us down to the uh, well, I got a four two six up here on a roof. I think you're going to stay up there just so you can uh, deny concealment. Or 426, not like you're going to do much anyways. <clears throat> I 
All right, so you, now you're going to back up. Start up for one. You're going to back up for a total of, I guess that would be nine. Turn 10. 11, 12. Stop. And then you fire at these guys here. Yeah, I think that's what you're going to do. All right, so uh, let's fire six firepower a half. It'll be pl uh, three plus one for being buttoned up on the three table plus one. Uh, seven on the three, I don't think it's going to be anything. No, it's a PTC. Eight one. Uh, heavy. Medium. Mortar crew. No sniper. Now we'll fire the main gun. Um, you're going to be firing on the eight table. Seven for buttoned up. Um, whole lot of move with a slow turret. Plus two, plus four. You can do some delay so you don't have to work pay that. Plus four, plus five for buttoned up. Yeah, plus five for buttoned up. So you're going to need a base um, three, three or less to hit. Nope. What do you acquire? And then we have, uh, that's it. So then we'll go into the uh, German defensive fire. Uh, something I've noticed reading the rules is that uh, I was worrying about radio contact with my offboard observer, but offboard observers automatically have radio contact. There's no maintenance rules either. It's just automatic contact. So I just have to roll battery access. And there's, um, as a result, because there's no radio. Um, so let me do that first. Right now you have an FFE2. Now I think I want to move you. I think I want to move you to here. From here. Keep that gun suppressed. Or I can continue where you are and hopefully my armor can deal with with this. This is going to be a pain in the ass. In turn three in the Germans, I'm going to, provided I remember, I'm going to smoke off this gun here in, uh, in I-7. Uh, drop a, a smoke FFE. Plus, I'm hoping that my guys come on board, which means I'll be able to... Uh, uh, give them a little bit more protection once they approach on. So, I don't know. I could drop it one over here because it's only going to deviate one. With luck, it'll land on G8. Or maybe H8. If I drop it on H8, chances of being accurate are probably slim. It would deviate one. And I'd still be able to affect Russian units. Although killing this 45 long up on the roof would probably be not a bad idea. I'll keep it where it is. That's fine. Um, all right. So let's resolve that. Um, target hex. Five. This will be good. Five on the hundred is a four check um plus four for uh fortified would make it a nine would be a one morale check okay so one morale check on the 228 uh you're broken and then the 426 
you are broken as well. Good, good, good. What about rubbling I-10? Nope. We have troops in the debris field. Seven is a two morale check. Uh, reduced to a seven for being an FFE minus two is a five. So you're pinned as well as panicked. Uh, rubbling the lumber yard. No, and no consequence on that. So then this is flipped over to continuous. And we'll change that to a smoke for my next uh, fire mission. Speaking of smoke, do I want smoke right now? You're going to try and fire on that, as are you. I could drop smoke. What's my numbers looking like? <clears throat> a nine. That's good. I can drop a smoke right on top of that thing. Plus one, plus two for debris. Maybe a plus three for D7. On the area, I need a four less to hit. That's not looking good. But I can smoke off D7. And the mild breeze would blow it across E7 and E uh, F6 on the German turn. I think that's what I'll do. So you're going to fire smoke. Yes, you can fire. Uh, so you need a 7 to hit. And there's a smoke round. Now I believe that is a level 2 smoke. So I guess that would be a um, level two smoke. And then the disperse smoke starts on the, the game's first rally phase. All right, so there's going to be two smoke counters on E7 and F6 out the uh, on the German rally phase of turn three. In the meantime, you can fire one, two, three, four, five, six. You can fire on the six table plus three, or you could fire on the uh, to, to hit table. I think you're going to fire on the to hit table. You're looking at an eight. A five with the hindrance and the uh, gun shield. And you're buttoned up a four. Four less to hit. Four less to hit with the rate of fire. What is a 20 long on the one table? Ugh. Or I could fire on the 6 plus 4. I would need a 4 or less to get a PTC. 
Oh, you fire on that to hit table. Okay, never mind. You. Oh, I guess I gotta fire out of the smoke, don't I? I'll wait for the other smoke for my prep fire phase. You can see him. You're mobilized, so you may as well fire. I fire top down here, so you are gonna fire three firepower plus three onto here. Nothing. You're gonna fire one round HE into here. Uh, nothing. That would be a plus three plus two for range. Six or less that would miss you. <clears throat> can fire so you're gonna fire a he round plus four five Oof, we're here <clears throat> maybe i should have fired a uh no i'll fire it in the prep oh, that's one so you're gonna fire on here with a plus four four less to hit uh useless guns Um, <clears throat> you're not going to bother firing, uh, 12, 12 plus 4, 1, 2, 3, only one of you can fire, so you're not going to bother firing, I'll mark the whole stack as panicked, uh, you are panicked, what about you? You're not panicked. You're going to fire on this 426. Acquired once, you're buttoned up. Cancel. Um, plus two for terrain, so six or less to hit. And you get deleted. 9 2 command die roll. Um, yep, so that's going to be uh, 36 table. No modifier. Eight on the thirty six is a four check. Uh, disrupted and broken. Everything here is broken, which sucks. Tanks forgot to move last turn. You have no target. You have no target. You've got no targets. So two firepower guy. <clears throat> it's gonna fire uh, four plus two. Eight on the four is nothing. This 247 is going to fire. Yes. No, he's not. He's panicked. Uh, what about you? You're not panicked, so you're going to fire. Not sure why that's there. You're going to fire on him. So that's going to be plus two for the terrain, plus three for buttoned up. Minus three for uh, range, acquisition, and armor leader. So an eight. Straight up eight. Hits. No rate of fire. Seven on the 75. Is a two check. And you are gone. All right, you are going to drop a flamethrower onto you, provided the flamethrower squad can fire. Okay, you can. All right, 24 firepower. Oof. That might be a flame. <clears throat> a three on the 24 is a TKIA.
flame check oh, an 11 you're definitely causing a flame a 2 kia so you and you are dead and a two or no um see if you're destroyed a four four in the 24 is a kia so the gun's destroyed as well and that leaves me an eight firepower unit to fire on you with a plus three, four plus three onto you. Or do a fire eight. Now I'll do four plus three. Cowers. So a seven on the three, seven on the two table is a miss. You're fine, no target. You have no target. You guys have targets. So you are going to fire on here. Confirm that I can actually hit it. Yep, it's fine. And you're not affected by the vehicle, so just a straight up uh, buttoned up and terrain. So plus four acquire, acquired ones is a plus three, five or less to hit. Yes, you can shoot. No. You are going to fire on the tank, the T-70. So plus one for size, plus one for debris, plus one for buttoned up is a plus three, so seven or less to hit uh, APCR. No. Oops. Normal AP round. That would miss as well. Uh, you, you can shoot, so you're going to fire on, I think you're going to fire on this stack here, not him, so let's move you to here, um, plus one, buttoned up, plus three for building, plus four, so four or less to hit, now you're acquired, no rate of fire, however. And we've got four plus four onto here. Uh, eight one command die roll. So you're gonna fire. Now I can fire combined. It will be 12, 15 firepower with a plus four. I think we'll do that. 15 plus four. No, cowers. Two squads. One, two, can one of you can only fire. Seven firepower plus four. Yeah, another coward attack. All right, this 8 1 is going to fire onto you. So you have. Let's do the mortar first. Uh, straight up seven. Rate of fire, uh, an eight. Hits, continues rate of fire, is a 6 on the 3, is a PTC for the 628, uh, another shot, rate of fire and a hit because he's acquired twice, a 4 on the 3, now we're cooking, 4 on the 3 is a 1 morale check. 
All right, another shot. Hits. A uh, five on the three is a normal morale track. Getting close, he's pinned. Last shot hits. Four is a one morale check. Uh, good. All right, now we'll fire the squads. I think this squad here is going to try to fire on F-46. Yes, I can see it. So we have um, 20 firepower halved for the concealed squad minus or plus two. On the 20 table plus two. Seven, nine. Nine on the 20 and nine on the 10. Nine on the 10 is a PTC, so that it's activated and nine on the 20 well, let's do the activation in case it's a fortification there. Uh, no activation. So a 9 on the 20 is a 1 morale check. You're gone. All right, then we have a four, six, seven, and a f oh yeah, that's right. He made his command die roll. We have a four, six, seven. I think they're gonna fire group onto the six, two, eight. That would be twelve, no modifier. Six on the twelve is a two check for you. Come on, break the guy. <clears throat> That's it for the German defensive fire. <clears throat> Russian advancing fire phase. I do not believe I have any. Uh, you could fire. Would be on the six table plus two. Nothing. You're occupying the gun. You're not going to rotate your gun and fire. Well, it's advancing fire. You couldn't fire anyways. No targets, no targets. All right, so that advancing fire phase is uh, negligible, so let's go road phase. Attacker first. Uh, you're stuck in the building under the FFE, so you're going to stay there. Um, you have to move. You're going to go to here. Now you're disrupted and you're in a gully, so I think you are good because nobody can see you. So I can't move you legally. Now we do the Germans. All right, you have to go. Where is your destination? I guess the eight zero. So that would be two, three, four. You won't be able to make it. Uh, put you under the tank. And then you'll make the 8 zero next round. You guys have to make it to B26. You're not going to make that as well. 2, 3 for the wall, 4. You're stuck there. That's it for that. And then we go into the Russian advance phase. Uh, you're going to stay here and gain concealment. I'll just do that now. You can gain concealment and I think you're not going to move. You'll wait for them to come to you. I think that makes sense. 
Same with you. Uh, you can move. Where would you move to? No, I think you're just going to stay where you are, so you'll gain concealment as well. <clears throat> All right, you are concealed already, so you're going to come forward one. No, you're not. He'll stay where you are, because you guys have to come to him. And that probably makes sense. Uh, you are fine. You are going to move into this building location. I'll get rid of that, because I don't think you're going to fire. And the whole stack will become concealed at the end of the turn. You. Should you go into hand-to-hand? -hand? No, you'll move back. All right, you guys are stuck in the building. You're fine. You're stuck there. And that is that for that. So there's no close combat. There's no um, <clears throat> other moves. And we're into the German turn three. All right, uh, so this one's turning out to be a little bit better. <clears throat> from my last playthrough. 18 dummy stacks. Wrong. 19 dummy stacks. And 8 activated units. Uh, for turn 2. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm going to drop smoke over this position here. Hopefully I need a... these guys come on. I need a 1 or a 2 for them to come on. Either case, I'm going to smoke off this whole area. Um, the center is being hard pressed. You guys have a bit of a job ahead of you. I'm not sure where to put you. You're sandwiched in with guns everywhere you go. Uh, you gain concealment. You gain concealment, as do you. I really don't know what to do with those mortars. Yeah, I really don't know what to do with those mortars. <clears throat> All right. Uh... We'll take a break there. Uh, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm going to put that post on Game Squad forums about the um, the um, intensive fire with the gun and the panic rules. I'm not sure how that would play out. Uh, if you have any comments down below, that would be really nice to hear what you guys have to say. And in the interim, we'll see you guys in the next video as you carry on with the, uh, the German turn three.